All right, hey everybody. So I am finally getting to work on the bike. Um, here it is in all its glory. It's a Honda CRF 250X, and uh, it's a great bike, but it's a little too <laughs> tall for me because I'm ridiculously short. So I'm installing a luring kit on it, and um, my friend uh, is gracious enough to let me use his garage to do all this stuff. So, um, so that's why I'm in the dungeon. It looks like. Um, but so yeah, I'm gonna show you. This is what I'm installing. It's like the Soupy's, um, Soupy's Performance Adjustable, it's an adjustable uh, lowering kit. So it should give me up to four inches with this, which should hopefully be enough. This is the lowering kit, so it should be pretty easy to install. The, these are the instructions for the kit. It's not very, not a lot, but I think it should not be terribly complicated. This is what we're replacing. So we're gonna take off these old dog bones here on the bottom of the bike and um, replace it with that lowering kit. I had a friend of mine help me um, for a moment. I needed some uh, manpower, manpower. We got this whole setup going on here. Um, because I don't, this is our jerry rigged uh, bike stand. So um, that happened. Uh, the bolts were really, really hard to get off, and unfortunately, I didn't have a breaker bar with me. Got the bottom part through, um, and that wasn't too bad. Um, what I recommend doing though, if you have it on a stand like this, um, which I wasn't even gonna put it on a bike stand because you can actually just. Um, maybe like ratchet strap the the um, suspension or like on the back so back uh, strap the tire on the back to kind of get it at the right level that you need um, but in my case this is what's happening this bolt here is connected to this uh, the chain pad here so I have to take this off but in order to take that off I have to actually take off my bike stand never quite as easy as we'd like it to be link, uh, linkage system here. To mimic this, my kit came with uh, a spacer. So all I'm going to do here is um, kind of use these to go together. And this is basically mimicking that bar. Alright, so hopefully this is a good angle for you. What I'm going to do is I'm taking this strap here and I'm going to pull the back tire up since the the suspension is all the way down right now and the links aren't connected so it's even farther down and it's like totally not at the right level so what I'm going to do is take this strap and cinch up the back tire basically until these links match um, this spot right here which I'll show you. Right now because of the angle because these have been disconnected um, the angle is like really off like they don't line up quite. It goes a little past. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cinch up the back tire um, enough to get those to align properly, um, and then hopefully the bolt should just slide slide right through. Yes, I know it's not very stable.
before I actually take the bike down, I'm gonna lower the front suspension just a little bit. I don't really have much room. Let me show you, let me show you what to do. I'm gonna loosen up those bolts so that this whole bar here should be able to shift up. Um, I'm not gonna get that much space. You can see like I only get maybe, maybe an inch there. Um, I'm gonna just do it a little though just because uh, it's definitely gonna be too high. Okay, so what I've done here is uh, loosened up these bolts. These usually go right on this to keep it from moving. Um, I've done the same thing on the other side. You, it, it's, an, it's very important that you keep them the same. Uh, so what I do is I just count the flats here and um, make sure I do the same amount on the other side so you can keep it with the same amount of turns. Um, all right, so let's go this way. One. Just tighten these bolts around. Oops. Tighten these bol bolts back around the bar um, just to keep it from moving. And there you have it. You got yourself an adjustment. Overall, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I know it's a little hard to tell how much it's lowered, but um, it is quite a bit of a difference for me, like just when I get on it. Um, the only thing though is that I lowered it so much that my kickstand. Um, is not really like giving it a nice lean. When I first tried it after I made all the adjustments and everything, um, I almost dropped it. Actually, I did drop it. <laughs> I won't lie to you guys. Um, I did drop it <laughs> getting on. So the kickstand will definitely need to be replaced with a shorter one. I also uh, brought up the forks a little bit. Um, it's not very much, it's only about an inch there. Um, I still kept like a little bit of space from the bars. Um, I might look into maybe getting risers for the handlebars um, to raise that up a little bit so then I can maybe bring this up like another inch. Hey, thanks for watching. Uh, I hope that helps you guys out if you're trying to install one of these things or at the very least it's kind of entertaining. Um, let me know in the comments below if you have used one of these soupies or you're interested in using one of these soupies. Um, I haven't really tested the bike yet but um, I like the height adjustment itself um, so I would definitely recommend them to people um, yeah anyway just let me know what you think